So I think the concept of HER2 law is going to have a huge impact in the way we treat patients, especially based on the recent press release about the Destiny Bristol 4 trial that was positive for PFS and OS, and really anticipates that we might see trastuzumab deruxacan in the clinic for patients with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. But this also means that we have to recognize patients with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer and we still don't have a standard definition for this. For instance, we don't know how to call a patient that was formerly HER2 low and now HER2 zero or the opposite way around. We don't know many things about this. We don't know the best site of the body to biopsy to detect HER2 low expression. So I think we need to figure out many aspects. But in general, the most important thing is that we hope and expect that anti-HER2 ADC is going to bring clinical benefit for patients with non-HER2 positive. So her to negative or her to low disease, which are a very large percentage of patients and for which we need novel treatments.